Hello, I'm Chanel and welcome to my bookbinding studio. I'm so glad that you're here. I've been thinking about how the heck I ended up here as an artist and bookbinder. Growing up, I loved arts and crafts. It was an opportunity for little Chanel to let go of perfectionism and be in the art zone. However, I was never praised or celebrated for being creative. I don't think any kid in my proximity was, unless they could draw with accuracy. It's not that I wanted to be told, you could be an artist. Maybe I could have been supported in more subtle ways. Now that I'm an adult, I'm choosing to prioritize a strength I had long since ignored, creativity. I realized that I was creative in my early 20s. I took a course called Heart of Facilitation because I wanted to be a better facilitator for the youth programs I was running. The course blew my mind, and I learned that I had more capabilities and power than I realized. I learned to challenge everything that was holding me back and uplift the strengths of others. The course had a lot of singing, dance, and movement involved. And at the time, I was so shy about taking up space with my body. A trainer asked me to lift up my index finger and start wiggling it up and down. They said, see, you're dancing. It felt a little silly, but this moment really stuck with me because I could finger wiggle into anything as long as I was brave. You know, I think one of the biggest reasons why I feared being creative was because I was the oldest child of an immigrant family. I no longer need to fill that role, but the roles we play as children often stay with us as adults. I was responsible for figuring many things out for my family, and I wasn't allowed to cry about it. So many of my life decisions were based on what I should do, what would make my family proud, rather than what I, in my heart, wanted to do. I'm proud of being the eldest child, the one to lead and to make things a little easier for my siblings. It's not like I had dreams to be an artist since I was a kid and suppress that dream. When I started working, creativity became a tool, not an identity. I could facilitate creative projects, activities, and campaigns, but I was uncomfortable with calling myself creative or worse, an artist. I'm almost 30, and the really nice thing is that I don't feel as self-conscious as I used to. So when I needed to pause my life and retreat back to bookbinding, which had always been a hobby and side hustle, I felt my intuition saying, I think I can do this. When I finally considered being creative as my career, I had to confront my fears head on. I'm not good enough. I don't have the education or training. My family is going to be embarrassed and not take me seriously. What if I run out of ideas? How am I going to make a decent income? Why would people care? I had to talk to myself as if I was a child to feel comforted. My mind was running with all these fears, but my heart was saying yes to running a handmade business. My inner critic hasn't stopped telling me that I'm not good enough. When I decided to try YouTube, she said, who do you think you are? I've learned in a short time that just by showing up in my studio every day and getting into a creative flow melts these concerns away. To be honest, when I'm in the mood to create, it lets me know that I'm doing okay. I know that when I feel blocked or don't feel creative enough, there's something else in me that needs attention. I give myself permission to either push through the negative thinking and just show up in the studio, or I give myself permission to retreat and rest. Creativity is uncomfortable because it challenges us to confront old fears and shame about ourselves. Creativity is scary because it causes us to make stuff we don't like and reminds us that we are flawed and imperfect. I've experienced many growing pains and will continue to. Practicing creativity doesn't have to be uncomfortable and scary. It can be exhilarating, joyful, fulfilling, healing, playful, comforting, however you want it to be. Your creative journey is your own. 
Nurture your creativity. Give it some metaphorical sunshine, water, and a good quality fertilizer of your choice. Maybe it will bloom someday when you didn't think it could flower.